Lisa with me, and I want to show you her cute cut. Um, she gets compliments all the time, so um, I wanted to come in and show you guys this. I just kind of point cut into this. We don't like it real, real straight, but we do like it tight against her her neck. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, up here, I, I really like to just chunk into her hair too. So it's not like a straight, straight line. Okay, so from this area down, you're gonna angle your fingers in um, and make sure that your fingers are tight against the head. And then this way, Lisa doesn't have to deal with it, huh? <laughs> it just goes. Okay, so just point cut into this. Okay, and then when you hit this middle spot here, you're going to start to angle in your, your fingers. And I just set my fingers um, up against her head. And that, you know, tells how tight it is. Okay, same thing here. I just chunk into this. Okay, and then angle these fingers in. Okay, with her sides, just hold this straight out, chunk into that a little. Okay, now this side I'm going to kind of hold back a tiny bit just because I want this to blend by her ear because she likes it longer in the front. So I just pull that back a little bit. But this I still keep tight against her head right there. So you can see how that's tight and then it kind of comes up this way. Okay, same thing here. Just chunk this out. Point cut into that. Okay, hold it tight here. And Lisa's hair grows fast, so she likes it manageable. <laughs> so the shorter, the easier. sides and then remember right here you're just going to hold back a little bit so it can uh, go a little bit longer by her ear but right here you want to keep it tight against her neck there okay now for the top whoop, same thing chunk chunk it out So you can see how I'm chunking? I mean, just, we don't want this even through here. I mean, you want it even, but does that make sense? You don't want, want it even. The more chunky, the more PC it's gonna look when you style it. So you don't want it like totally even. But you do follow the same guideline, obviously, so you don't have craziness going on. But definitely chunk into that. Okay, hold this out straight out and she likes her sides long so I'm just I'm not taking a ton off of her sides but I am point cutting into it obviously because you want it trimmed up a little but I'm not taking I took more off the rest and her sides just because she likes those a little bit longer 
Okay, same thing with our slides. I'm just going to take a tiny bit, but I definitely point cut into them and around that here. So see, it kind of comes down, up, and then down again. Okay, and then this other side, same thing. I'm just going to hold this out, just trim this a tiny bit, and point cut into it. thing by this ear. See, it kind of comes up by the ear and back down. Okay, now her bangs, she likes them longer, but not so long that they kind of are annoying in her face. So what I like to do here is I like to take my razor and you're going to kind of come in on an angle and you're just going to chunk this out a little bit. And then this will make it look wispy and kind of light, not so bulky around the face. So I'm coming up here about into this area with it. Then on her sides, just so it all doesn't hang. Because where she likes it long in the front, we don't want it to look bulky there. You know what I mean? So this is a good way to like piece that out. Okay, then I like to come up here and just chunk this out. So it will stand up really good for her. check it is do this and if it stands up you're good to go see it standing up if it kind of plops back down you're gonna want more okay so that's a good way to tell how much texturizing you need so if you do this and it stands up you're good if not do a little bit more okay all right now to style I'm gonna use the root lifter this is from Monate love 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 it it helps your hair stay up all day so you just spray this in the root area then I'm going to use the mousse, okay? See, there's just one squirt. It looks like it's not that much. That's seriously all you need. Then you rub it in your hands. It's very concentrated, so you don't need a lot. And that is the mousse. Okay, now I'm going to dry. So the back, I obviously just dry it down.
sides. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay, I'm just going to thin this side out a tiny bit with my texturizing shears. Okay, now what I'm going to put in Lisa's hair is two drops of the oil, and that's from Monate 2. It's the Rejuvenate Oil. And that's all you need is two tiny drops. The oil is very light, and this gives it a ton of shine. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you brought that up. It does smell good. It, this one, this smells like lemons. It smells really, really yummy. Okay, and then this is the clay, you guys. This is what I use to piece out. So distortion, I know we used to have that, and it went away. And now I finally found this is way better than distortion. So it's called the clay, and it's from Monate. Um, I love it so much because it pieces out but it's very, very um, soft, which is crazy. I always felt like I needed my hair stiff um, to have it piece out and stuff, but this, this pieces out, but it, it's very soft. All right, Lee, she's still doing good? Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn her in the mirror for just a second. Okay, now I'm going to grab my back, or I'm going to back home here for a second. Just a little bit. Spray. This smells phenomenal. This is from Monate. Um, and you guys will notice in all my videos from here on out, that's what I use is Monate. I use no other product. Um, that's how much I love, love, love this. Okay. Okay, you guys, there is Lisa's haircut. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. And let me know what you think. Thank you so much. Have a great day.